Right, oh, so we've got my forward controls in kit form. Um, got foot peg, toe peg, if you like, actuator. These mounting plates, which are actually stainless steel. Uh, my dad gave me some massive chunks of fucking stainless steel, so I wanted to use some of that on the build. Mounting for the toe peg, the mounting bars themselves that go through these tubes. These will take the phosphor, phosphor bonds, they're not like they're the oil light. Bushes, bonds bushes. Um, and these will make the curved blades, just like on the shovel head, which you'll see when it's done. So uh, I think the first thing we need to do, we can face these off to length, at two inch, and I think they're inch and a quarter. Um, and then we can make the mounting bars that need to go through the oil light bushes. I'm saying it again, aren't I? These fossil bonds bushes. You'll see, you'll see it pan out as I make it. Saturday as I'm doing this, which is unusual, but I need to get it done, so I left the radio on, because um, I can't be asked to fucking turn it off to be fair like, so I'm hoping we don't get any copyright strikes, first up, let's face these off, went in a bit hard then to be fair, Absolutely, fucking loot there. Baltic. You know, there's snow outside at the minute and everything. It's fucking like the end of days. So, we'll carefully face this off. Like that. And we'll give it a quick break the edge. And now we can give it a measure. Now I want inch and a half. What do you want? Oh, sorry, two inches. Can't see. We've got a mile to fucking go. It's nearly a quarter of an inch too long. So we're going to say we want 50 mil. measures 55 so I need to take 5 mil off which is not a problem which is touch off 0 a DRO Five millimeters, which is just coming up. Yeah, find it out. Yeah, she blows, Captain. One done. It should fifty point three two. We're not bothered about that. Three two. Are we? Why not? You don't have to be super accurate. They've only got to fit themselves and look right. But we'll do it. 
touch off on the point. Zero. Wind it in three, two. Happy days. So I'll face and size all four bits of tube accordingly. Right, now on to the solid. We've got the, the tubes for each section. That's the spacer that goes over this mounting um, bar. And then you've got this with the bushes in that's got your blade on that does the action. Um, we need to get them to fit on here. So first thing I'm going to do is face both ends of this off. And then I'm going to turn myself a 32mm shoulder that just fits inside this tube nicely. Um, and then we'll machine the, the rest of the diameter down to go through the bushes and to fit inside the foot peg that I'm yet to make. So we'll face off, uh, spin it round, face off again, and then we'll turn this, whatever it is. <coughs> what is it? Let's have a look. Zero that off. That is 27.62. So 27 and a half is going to give us a nice fits over fit, you know, allowing for powder coating and all sorts of tomfoolery going on. So we're looking at 27 and a half. We'll, we'll face it off first, we'll give it a face off. I'm just getting into uh, using these triangle bits. I can't remember the code for the shape, but Max Grant over at Swan Valley Machine Shop uses one quite a lot, and it, it got me into the idea of using one. So, hold on, what do we need out? More than that, don't we? So, so, uh, thought, fuck it, why not? And we'll face this off, but. Zero DRO, and we know we want 32 mil. Zero DRO, zero mil this way, 27 and a half inside. So we'll just take a clean up cut, and then we'll have a measure. Not quite round at that, hold up, a bit more. There we go. So we have got, not the best finish, but I think it'll be a week. 29.25, so put that in the DRO. <coughs> we need to take it down to 27 and a half, which we're gonna do in two goes. We'll go 28 and a half, down to 32 mil along. 32 and then 27.5 is there. Come on. Down to the same point. Let's get this machine down. Right, that is. Right. You know, I'm not happy with that. It's never going to be seen, but the finish ain't all that. That's, um, I'm going to change my tooling. Because when we go on to the next operations, oh, no, I'll have that out of the way. Get on to the next operations, we need a good finish. It's going to fit through the bushes, yeah? But for now, that'll be alright. It's not moving anywhere, it's not seen. Everything's cool. Everything's small. 
give it a centre drill, get it started, drill it out 10.2, give it a counter, counter ball, a little bit more maybe. and then slow it down ready for tapping put a collet holder in give it a thwack the rubber mallet because it likes to spin on that and now we'll check this out to M12 oh look spinning in the holder that's not a good start is it did they pick the wrong order or push them? See. All right, bear with. But I take two. We've we'll given it a proper fucking time. We had a word with it. We took it to the vice and had a fucking word with it. Let's see what happens. Get this shit out of my way. Oh, we're still in reverse. Here we go. Scream if you want to go faster. Lovely dribble there. So that finishes this end at 12. We reverse, reverse that out at uh, M12 thread. Now we spin it round, hold that um, in the chuck. Well, what I'll do, I'll spin it around. Let me just blow the shit out of it. Put a centre in the other end so we can support it because we're going to have that much hanging out. Yeah, so I'll just fucking give that a quick centre off camera and then we're going to support it with a live centre. Fucking ass time. Why we machine the uh, OD down to fit those bushes, those bearings. Yeah, so see you in a minute. Hello. It's now the following Monday and uh, I'll probably chop a clip in from this week's vlog <coughs> to show how fucking cold it is. It's minus one in the workshop. <coughs> Excuse me, you can hear it in my voice and on my chest. So, um, we've got the heater on me and we stood at the machine and we're not going to venture very far. What I need to do now is take this down, if you remember, well, it's only a minute for you, it's two days for me right we need to <coughs> to machine this down so that it fits inside these bushings which are going to be form the pivot aren't they so to have a measure we need to take this down to okay come on oh, zero this out we need that is 19.999 it's telling me it's 20 mil isn't it so we need to go 19 19.99 yeah or 19.98 this needs to be now for this entire length it's going to fit uh, that bit goes over the spacer then we've got a bush with a sleeve another bush then it goes inside the foot peg we may as well make it parallel 19.95 will do this won't it so um i've had to i've had the lathe running for a good few minutes to get the oil and all the bearings warmed up a little bit and i'm just going to take a starter cut as always <coughs> and then we'll set the size on the dro Find me fucking brain, that'd be helpful, wouldn't it? I don't do my best work when I'm freezing cold, surprisingly. Will be me. 27.90, so we set a DRO X. 27.90. Enter, and we want, it's 20 mil anyway, we want 19.95, something like that. So, I'll get that machine down. 
a little bit of lube. It's not too cold for lube. Never too cold for lube, Ralph. I'm trying this new shape, but I think it's too gummy <coughs> for the life. I think we'd be better um, going back to the old one. Certainly smoking. Anyway, I'll join you again once we get that nearer the side. Yeah, so <coughs> this cut should take us down to 20 mil. I've had a few issues with the work going up the chuck light because of the pressures involved and <coughs> I'm sure the cold don't fucking help, you know what I mean? I might machine the other one differently, I might put the fat end where the centre is and machine it from left to right. Um, once I turn a, a section down, maybe this one or whatever, to go in the foot peg, so that's not a critical size. That just needs to be a nice fit in the foot peg. The critical size is the bearing uh, over the bushing. And again, that's not exacto. You know, they don't, it's not a wheel bearing. It's a fucking forward control. It moves about 10 degrees every time it's used. It's just a wobble. It's just to stop it seizing up and to do the job proper like. So, <clears throat> nothing here is fucking spacecraft tolerance critical. It just needs to be a nice fucking fit. Anyway, we should was this down, hopefully it won't be too far off the finished size that I need. But we'll have a measure once I get there, look. So we're about there. Just going to touch off on that face. There. And you see, look, it's cutting again there. There's a bit of spring involved there. Which is, it's like Tom Jones. It's not unusual. And that is fucking hot, look, it's burning my fingers. I can't feel it. The steam. The smoke coming off my fingers. Right. At a hot, we've got 20.09. And we want less than that, don't we? Because that's going to be fucking tight in there, else. So we want 19.9, maybe 20. I'm going for a spring pass. Uh, and I'm going for a uh, cool it down. I might put the suds on it. Although, to be honest, in this fucking temperature, it would take five minutes. It would be fucking stone cold. So, I'll give that a spring pass off camera. So we, we're just a tad over now, and I think we can get it there with the old file on. Give it a polish with the file or not. should get us where we want to be. We're, we're fucking out, we're fuck all. Twenty oh three. Twenty oh one. You know what I mean? Fucking hell, that's gonna press on there. I think that'll be alright. Should we try it? Yeah fuck it, hey. Let's try it. Ain't got no to lose, shall we? There you go. Look at that. Fucking hell. Job's a good one. Now, I guess it's 25 years or so since I made these. I can't remember if they fit in there. They don't, do they? So these need machining down. I've got to make a mandrel. I have a feeling I've got one in my toolbox from 25, 30 years ago. Make a mandrel to hold the bearing, bush, and then just take the skim off the outer. Because holding it by its collar in there is not good. You're going to break it. But that, that'll be later on in the proceedings. I'm happy with that. So, job done. That's one down. Fucking hell, that's hot. And that's really fucking hot. Hey, one down. I'm gonna clean that edge up. Look at that. You can see where I fucking gripped it rock hard. Clean that up, clean that end up. Fucking pop it back in there, look, why? Right? Why you got it, kid? Why well, you can just about hold it, hey? I was it back in here. Come on, get it. Get a magic file treatment. Break that edge, look. Do that a clean up. Not that anyone's ever, ever gonna see it because it'll have this spacer over it. 
it'll be powder coated and then the plate and then a screw will be a cup. You'll see. You'll see as the job goes on. So anyway, that's one of them done. We just need to copy it with our fucker, don't we? Happy days. We've got them the shaft that bolts on the plate. Um, we've got a spacer that goes over it. We've got the bit to take the bushes. Um, what I'm going to do now is make the top part, the top of the blade that takes the toe peg, is next on the agenda. And then, and then we're about done with the steel work. We're going on to aluminium, 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 don't we? So I'd probably change out twice speed steel bits. I might treat myself, you know how you do. In the meantime, we need to get this faced off and machine down to 23mm OD. So I'm going to face that off like that and I'm going to touch on and take a cut. Now, I've not touched my tool in, so if my calculations are correct, I can wash this down without measuring out, and there we go, it's 23 millimetres, which is there. Come on, 23 point, there you go, nothing, 23 point nothing. Let's have a look. And it needs to be 15 millimetres long, so it should be 23 mil. Nearest fuck it is to swear in. 2314. That'll do me. So break that edge, give that a quick polish. Now we're gonna counterbore it. For M8, we're going to put M8 clearance in. So we'll get this shit out of the way. We'll get our centre drill in. And get on. In with a centre drill. Just to get myself started. So it's Black Miles, just on the edge. The machine's alright, but it's a little tough at times. Um, but the finishes, you know, make some lovely stuff. 8 mil clearance. This is 15 mil the part. So we need 15 plus the parting blades, 18. So we may as well take this to 20, haven't we? To be sure, to be sure. In fact, that's turning in the chuck a little. The problem with working in the fucking coals, you know, everything's cold. My hands are cold, the steel's cold. You can, you can really tell that things aren't at their best. They're nice and steady then. Down to 20. And now I'll set up my countersink tool in a collet to take that down eight mil deep counterboard. Alright, you know. I'm fucking freezing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It's not funny, is it? So um <clears throat> sorry. Let's get this fucking on. We need to set that uh, set the the measure there, look, uh, at ten. So we'll lock it off there. Lock off the tail stock at ten. And we need to go eight deep thereabouts. So get a looby do bit. We're gonna go nice and steady to four. I could probably run this a bit quicker. It's not exactly fucking flying through, but you know, it's doing it. Keep it at that. Three, which is six. Sorry, I'm cutting the marks and shouting them out. Hey, four, that's eight. So that is now board 
to take a M8 cuphead. That'll sit down and sit there. Get that a break. Get that a break. And now we need to part it off. So we'll put a parting tool, which my juvenile brain always says parting tool in my head, but it's not mention it. Um, and we'll just speed things up a bit. We'll four eight cup, which is Put that, that way. 480, 20 feet. Touch on zero. What did we say we wanted? 15. Plus the blade is 18, which is. Uh, come up there. Oh, fucking hell, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, leave it a bit. Just break that back edge. We might need to turn it around to do the front edge, so it's not over critical, that's breaking the edge shit at the minute. Plenty of lube. Uh, come on, any minute now. There you go. Happy days. One down, one to go. I don't know, pop pickers. Onto the toe pegs now, then. So we've got this inch billet. I'm going to turn it down to 23. Same as the uh, same as these mountain bosses. They go on the end of the blade, and then these go on the end of that. And then you fucking got your toe bit. Like, you know. <coughs> we need 50 mil length. So we need to make sure we've got more than 50 mil sticking out, 55, okay. Fuck it out. Um, we need an M8 hole up its arse, and we need 23 mil diameter, and we need to put some ribs in it for our pleasure, don't we? So, the feet don't slip off. I thought about knurling. The ones on the shovel head have got uh, ridges in, and it grooves cut like. And it, I think at the time I was thinking that I'd use O rings in there, but O rings just get hard and split and fuck off down the road without your light, so. I never bothered. I know, alright. So I'm going to emulate that. Um, we're on to the high speed steel. I need to just find me a big spanner. Find me a big spaniel. <laughs> Give, give me two posters to eat. So we can get it in gear. Three. Easy. Get it in gear. If you can't find it, grind it. You can face that off. I think I might need to use my Radius tool as well. To put a radius on. Or just break the edge out of it. Put a chamfer on it, not sure. Um Right. I'm just muttering to myself while I'm fucking about to be honest, so we'll have that cleaned up a bit better. A bit better. Move the fucking tool. Give yourself a bit of clearance, a bit of flash shit on there. We'll touch on, give it a slight cut. Just to round it up, measure what size it is, and put that in a DRO, and that is fucking hell. Not easy to measure. That is a real wild child. Fucking hell, man. 25.3. X is 25.3. And we want 23. So we we'll take a mill off. 24.3. Yes. 
Can you see it? Yeah. Don't want to wrap it around the fucking job, do I? Thank you, kind one. Come on. And now down to 23. <coughs> 22.990, that says. I'm not up there. Come on. Yeah, you go. Bump it down. 23. And send it. I'm trying ever so hard to keep this shit off. It's extremely fucking crap. Just gets every fucking way. I'm not prepared to injure myself for the sake of it, though, so. I believe that to be what, it's, what it is like. I was also thinking of giving me triangle fucking carbide tips and other go on it, aluminum and aluminum and aluminum, see if, it, see if it's happy doing that. Right. There we go, so that. Despite its appearance, it's fucking odd. It's having me sure it. We're at 2289, so 229. I think we can live with that, can't we? 229, yep, that'll do me. Now we need an M8. Drilling and tapping. Now we do a centre drill. Tapping size 6 8. Counterball. And tap. Come on. Here you go. Go. So. That bolts onto there. Dust. This is on the blade. That's on your toe. Fifty mil long. Um. What I need to do is I'm just going to give myself a mark at 50 mil. I'll grab that on and we'll touch off zero and then go 53. Which I'm only just going to fucking do it there. That's the end of the peg there, look. Oh. Only fucking just there, I'm friendly turning. I want to put some ribs in there, it's 50 mil long. So, you get a little bit of mass and work that out. Well, you can press the squirrels its head off, bear with. Right, I've swapped out to this grooving tool, this little profile tool, fucking lovely. Things down a little bit. It should be. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna go, I think, every 10 mil. So I'm gonna have one at 10, 20, 30, 40, end of the job. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna eyeball it. I've set my gear at uh, zero. And I think. Uh, 3 mil. It's quite nice. So we've got a 3 mil. Bit of fly shit on, move along to 20 mil. Put a bit of fly shit remover on into 3 mil. Move along 30 mil. Going into 3 mil, along to 40 mil, come on motherfucker, there, down to 3 mil, and that's your toe peg pretty much made, you've got to part it off, spin it round and deal with the end, and give those a deeper. Wait. 
go. Just knock those edges. They're all going to be polished, so don't need to worry too much, do I? A bit of glance off. Um, I'll get that parted off, spun round, and we'll dress the other end. I'll face it off. Um, I'm going to just break it, I think. Just that look. It's lovely, this billet. I can, I can work it with a file to emulate. I don't want too much of a radius on the end. I don't want it to be round. So it's just a nice break on the end. And uh, there you go. There's your peg. There's your mounting for your peg, counterboard. Just take an MA cap head. So they'll sit together like that. But that'll be so black and that'll be polished black and silver fucking winning combo sorted just to show you I've switched out to that carbide bit and the swarf is so much more manageable it's really really it's much better than that stringy shit so we'll be sticking with that just while we make this other peg